Hello everyone, this is Priyanka Vasi. Welcome back to your own channel, Maths in Minutes. Today we are again here to discuss the same topic, calendar. So without wasting much time, let's start directly the topic calendar. Uh, in the previous video, we have discussed that how to find out the day of some particular date when some other day has been given to you. But here in today's video, we are going to learn more on the calendar theory and then we will be proceeding the questions like what day was there on five years back on this particular date and so on so we will be studying that way so let us start i would like to tell you that in calendar sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday is there now we will be studying the quotes quotes will be one of our sunday two three four five six seven for saturday or zero it will be considered right now when we come to january february and march that means the month's name the code will be one four four zero two five zero three six one four six you must be thinking how we are going to learn this so i'll tell you how to learn it this 144 is the square of 12 this zero to five is a square of five square of 6 and 46 is just two more than this right so what we are going to do we will be making the triplets right and then 12 square then 5 square 6 square and then two more than this number now i think you all can remember this right now when we will talk about this century code century code is also very important to keep in mind now if we start from 1600 onwards 1600 to 1699 the code is 6 1700 to 1799 the code is 4 1800 to 1899 the code is 2 1900 to 1999 the code is 0 then from 2000 to 2099 which will be coming in future will be 6 and the code will be repeated 6420 then 6420 and really it will follow upwards also now so based on these type of quotes we will study first question says which day was there on 27th of january 1952 right now how to do this question there are five steps to solve the question please see every step very properly in the first step whatever is written we will write as it is january is there what is the code for january one so we will write one here 1952 is there so we will write the last two digit so 52 will be written then this 52 will be divided by 4 and whatever question come just pay attention till now in the last video we were dealing with the remainders but here whatever the question comes will be written here and the year is 1952 1952 will lie here the code will be 0 right now again i am repeating 27 will be coming here january's code we are going to write then 52 as it is we are going to write then divide this 52 by 4 right and question we are going to write then zero will be the code for this century now what we are going to do we are going to simply add it 7 plus 1 8 to 10 then 13 then 3 4 and 9 right now this 93 will be divided by 7 why why 7 because after every seventh day the dates are repeated so when we are going to divide we are going to get 2 as the remainder and 2 is the code for monday so on 27th january 1952 we will have monday now let's find the day for one more date 15th august 1947 this is very important date on this day we got the independence there are only five steps that we need to follow the first one says write down the date as it is august is there write down the code for the month of august that is three then we will write 47 as it is then divide this 47 by 4 and we will write only the question so write the question over here this 1947 will come in this century so write the code 0 for this next step is to add it that is 7 plus 1 is 8 3 11 then 16 then 2 4 6 and 7 right 
Now, then divide 76 by 7, we will get 10 as a question and 6 as a remainder. 6 is the code for Friday. That, that means we got our independence on Friday. Before proceeding, I would like to tell you one very important thing that is these are the codes for the normal year. But when we have the leap year, there is a change. We reduce January and February by one, one numbers, right? That means January will have zero and February will have three as the code. So let us do one leap year question also. What is the day on 1st January 2020? So how to do this? First, we will write 1 as it is. Code for January will be what? 1 or 0? That will be decided by this year. This 2020 was a leap year. So, we will take 0 as the code. Then, we will write 20 as it is. Then, divide this 20 by 4. The question will be 5. Right? This 2020 comes here. So, the code will be 6. Now, what is the next thing? To add all which will give and 5 plus 1 6 6 6 12 then 2 plus 1 3 that is 32 divide this 32 by 7 and we get 4 as the remainder and 4 is the code for Wednesday. So first January 2020 was Wednesday. So this was all about the calendar. I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something. So please keep watching my videos. Thank you so much. Stay home. Stay safe.